everybody welcome to laughter talks i am marguerite fair and i have an amazing and beautiful and talented young lady sitting next to me and her name is erica toraya Correct. and i am going to introduce you first because but thank you first of all for being here erica thank you thank you thank you for having me oh i love it so let me introduce you and if i make any mistakes just reach out and you could turn in the opposite and you can say marguerite stop it <laughs> okay now erica taraya is an actress writer and filmmaker and erica does commercial short films and feature films drama and comedy television web series and voiceover work including commercials audio plays animation and feature film and with spanish dubbing she is a lifestyle model and one of was one of the top 10 actors in the 2013 AMTC nationwide competition in Orlando. That's a pretty big deal. Now, Erica is now a filmmaker and her most current project, the proof of concept she wrote, acted in, produced for the soon to be produced feature film was selected as a finalist for the best short film for the 2021 International Christian Film and Music Festival. That is, congratulations on that. The film is called Insight. This is a brilliant faith-based story based on her own life. So everybody welcome the lovely and talented Erica Toraya. Thank you for being here. My gosh, you're so you're, you're so multi-talented. So what I'd like to do is throw the ball right in your court. Please tell us, about your film and the process that got you there and what's in action now with that. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor to be on your show. I really love your show. I think you do such a wonderful job. I was sharing with Marguerite that I was doing my own guest show on, on YouTube and I would interview someone for up to two hours. Wow. And I'm not an editor and I didn't ask an editor to help. So I put on the whole show and my friends like, people are not going to watch two hours, Erica. Yeah, you I'm were like, having specials. <laughs> I'm like, they're so interesting. Why wouldn't they listen for two hours? Well, I understand. We we only have so much time. And so yeah. you do a fabulous job. And Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, so, tell us about your film. I'm so excited because I have to tell everybody, I saw the trailer and we're going to show that later. But I oh, would cool. like you to set that up for us because this story, it really touched my heart. I mean, just finding out about this, it's brilliant. So tell us the synopsis and sure, yes. how, how you got to this point. Absolutely. Um, so I, I always say I lived it, I wrote it, I <laughs> produced it, acted, not not to say all the hats that I wore, but the living part is the important aspect of it because I found that my story is very common and you don't need to be a person of faith to understand it. You just need to be a person because we all understand loss and betrayal and just a testing of of your own being really and so that's what this uh story i really felt like and, and each one of us has such a story that we're meant to share it and so in this story she is in an abusive um, marriage and a lot of times people may not understand so it's really great for people to watch this to learn about it to understand or watch it because they might be in a situation like this um or for many different reasons and to find the hope that's behind it but when you are in abuse, um, whether you grew up in it or not, there are plenty of people who had healthy relationships and help, healthy upbringings and still find themselves in a situation like this. Mine had some turmoil in my upbringing, so you kind of just have that kind of relationship come into your life, unfortunately. And also because some people are very good at masking who they really are. They're trying to just fit this, this um, person that you want them to be so that they can win you over. And then lo and behold, you're married and you have this vow. So you just think, well, this is what I got into. Um, but there's much more depth to that and where we need to be in our safety and, and where where God guides our life, really. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. It's been a total journey, because not only did I go through that experience and come out a much happier, content, fulfilled person. I mean, we're always growing and struggling through things, but that's life. Yeah. Um, and so it's just kind of a matter of, of relating that with people and where where did that journey take us and where can things become a blessing? So in the story too, I won't give too much, but she she does lose her eyesight. And even in that second blow to her faith and, and everything she knows and is, 
how does she find the beauty in that is actually what the journey we can reflect on in our own lives of when when the worst happens we can actually go back and say this was actually a blessing in my life i volunteered at the braille institute for a couple of years and wow. some of the people i met would say i'm glad i lost my eyesight i became a better person for it i'm grateful for it and that was the kind of attitude i wanted to put into the film of how we can see things in that no pun intended see things with that um that understanding of that life really has a lot of preciousness to it even in, in the challenges and struggles well thank you that is is, is a very and, and you know i was going to say they uh, for people may not understand it i actually do for my own reasons and they're very very charismatic mm -hmm. uh so it's it's easy to get in this and i call it emotional bondage um, yes. It's the same as being chained to a wall. But um, I, before we go any farther, because I've seen the trailer, I would like to share it with everyone. Because just from looking at your trailer, I got everything that you just said. And mm -hmm. it, I, so that everybody else knows what's going on. Let's take a minute. Everybody, take yeah. a look at this fantastic trailer. Sometimes when we can't see things clearly for ourselves, God will send us someone to help us until we can see clearly. You think I need help? You're the crazy one. Now we need to try to make things work. But controlling is not Brad. loving. Sorry. You know I love you. You two you need to divorce. I thought it was because of that I married Brad. Maybe this suffering is what brought you closer to God. And, and now he has another path for you. Take my eyesight. I conclude that it is a condition called somatic trauma response. God is speaking to me. And I'm listening. Hey there, Andy. Mm. Hey, love. Hey, nice to see you. I mean, you're still as lovely as ever. Oh, aren't you sweet? Would you like a day break? So... I discovered that God never leaves you, even if you feel like he has. The things we see as traumatic or horrible can actually be blessings in life. Oh, that it is, it is so, thank you so much for sharing that because um, you can really feel the depth of, of your anguish and what went through. And I like that you were saying about uh, learning a lot and taking the lessons from it. And was that, was that pretty much your journey as we're seeing like in the trailer? Oh, uh, it's important to say based on, based on, uh, for many reasons, yeah. uh, but to the answer the question, yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, can I ask what what point were you at? I mean, where you said to yourself, "This has to be a movie. I have to make this." Where were you at? What was going on? Great question, Marguerite. Um, actually, the feature I began writing eight years ago. I've always been a writer, but when I moved to LA here uh, and uh, eight years ago, I realized I need to change my writing and have it be more scripts. And so I started eight years ago and it had a little bit of sampling of sprinkling of my true story, but it was really about someone else. And then as I got more and more feedback, they say, well, I want to hear about this marriage part. And I thought, no, no, I don't want to go there. And I had a good friend um, who said, I think you need to write more about you. And that was a challenge. I didn't think that was interesting enough that I wanted to divulge it. And then I realized that was my calling was to share the truth. And they always say, write what you know. Yeah. And, and then I started really understanding this is actually going to help people. So what I went through, there was purpose behind that. If I can help one person understand, whoa, maybe this is my situation. And there is, there is something I need to consider in getting help and finding community and praying and finding that there's another path for me. And so the more I've shared about what the story is about with people, the more I'm confirmed because nine times out of 10 people, like I either know someone very well, or it was me. Yes. And men and women, 
And that just keeps confirming in me that there is hope in the, and I, and there have been several times where I say, oh, watch the movie because I have such hope that it will help them. Mm -hmm. um, so it didn't begin that way. It, it was a transformation. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a hitting point where I thought, this is bringing up things I don't want to go through. And I was looking through my journals. Of, I used to write a lot during that time. And it was heartbreaking because your mind is fuzzy. You don't remember it. And when I'm reading this, I'm like, yes. oh, I don't like to think about what I went through. And then I had another good friend say, this isn't about you. You need to push through. You're doing this to help other people. Yes. And that's, that was the, the push I needed to say, you're right. Get through this. And I really found there was more healing. I thought I'd already forgiven and healed, but there's so many layers to that onion. And I realized this is also for me to grow and to learn and to get to a better place. So it's a constant growing. Yeah. And walking through that pain is really what does make it relatable to people because, uh, you know, you can't write and not feel it. That's just the way I feel about it. I mean, you can write for other people or do what you have to do. But if yeah. you to really be impassioned, you there's something about writing the emotion that you've experienced that makes it such a true story. And that's really what we need. Now, I know that I was reading on your site and this this has taken you seven years to get to this point. Yeah, I think we're getting to the eight mark <laughs> somewhere around there. Wow. How did that filming go? Because it's kind of, how do you like the how many other actors are in this? Um, so there are probably about 20, 25 somewhere around there. I cast it all myself with pe mostly of people I knew and I've worked with. Yeah. And then a few others. Um, so definitely been a journey, you know, maybe losing someone here and there and needing to bring in someone else or switching a character. So it, it's been, yeah, it's been a, a journey as far as it's, that goes. It's too. really, it's a good journey because you're, you're, that way we learn everything from the bottom up and all the insides and outs. And you're also, I know you were talking about the editing and the process and there are expenses. So you're also doing fundraising, crowdfunding. Tell us a little bit about that and then tell us where we can go to to help you out. I'll put that link up for you. So tell oh, us. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so um, you realize what your strong suits are and what your weak areas are. For me, fundraising is not a strength. It's um, hard. It's hard. Yeah. And people have teams of people to do this and that. I was the sole producer, which wasn't the plan and became the director, you know, and I wasn't the plan, but it all kind of works out. And so I am going to be putting on a couple events to um, to promote the, the film, as well as my friend who's going to do the music. He's a concert pianist. We have his music in the film and actually in the trailer. So the first song and the last song, that's his music. Oh, so wow. it'll be a way to kind of bring people together. I'll do one in San Diego and one in LA, bring people together, learn about his ministry of taking his music to prisons and other places. Wow. And learn about the film and I'll show the, the um, trailer and ask you know if, if people feel moved to, to donate. So I do have a website, insightthefilm.com, and my crowdfunding's been up there for probably a year. <laughs> okay. I know people who have done it for three months who make as much money as I've made on that. But you know what? We do the best we can with well, what we've done. Do you, do you have a link that we can tell people to go to if they would like to contribute? Sure. It's Insight, Insight, I-N-S-I-G-H-T is the name of the movie, insightthefilm.com. Okay. And they can go in there and there is a spot to make donations. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they can also subscribe so I can give information for when we have the premiere and just updates. You know, that. that brings me to the point. I really love what you've done on your website because you're giving upda updates on the film. And that is really pivotal. You know, I mean, you're doing a lot of wonderful things to, to get this going. So good Thank for you. you. That's another one where I have some really old videos on there of like, oh, I got a new director. And then I look back five months later, I'm like, oh, they're not a part of it anymore <laughs> for a different reason. So I, but I kind of just kept them on there because it's part of the journey. So, yeah. but I try and put the newest one up there of saying, okay, this is where it's at. I think my latest one was like, we did the filming. Yeah. So it was a major long journey of pre-production, very, very challenging. You know, I couldn't even audition for things that you know, I act but I didn't have time at all for months and months and months. And then it was the filming. I didn't even have time to sleep a normal night. <laughs> during wow. Well, yeah. But it totally, that was, I just talked with a friend yesterday about the process. The, we all have different processes, right? Like he yeah. had a good pre-production and his filming wasn't good and vice versa. So everyone has a different story. And I'm actually writing about the story because there's just so much in it that I'd like to share with people. 
so that they can learn when they do their projects or that they can just reflect on what, what they've gone through. So it's kind of a, a neat, neat way to kind of document um, what happened. But for me, the pre-production was crazy. So many things just hitting against me so hard. And I love talking to friends now who say, gosh, where you were, you know, eight months ago, you said, I don't know if this is going to happen. And I love hearing that because you just have to push through. Um, and if you're meant to do it anyway, and, and, and appreciate the people who do encourage you. And it's hard when you focus on the ones that are not uh, encouraging, but to really focus on where you are called to be. And, and it's not going to be easy. You put your everything. It has been my entire life, yeah. my, my savings, <laughs> my yeah. time, my career put aside to do this. Cause this isn't about, you know, me doing this or showing off that it's, it's a gift I'm giving to people for them to grow in their lives, to be in a healthy place, to be able to just flourish in their own lives, because that's what it's all about is yeah. being there for one another. It, it, it really is. And you know, it's an ongoing situation. It's not that this is something that happens and goes away. People are getting older, getting into relationships. So it is, it's very helpful because, you know, you plant seeds and people can see things and what you're doing. And also like the way you're promoting again about the, the videos, it's very much, you were saying that you journal. Well, the way that you're doing that on your website by updating that way is you're actually showing people it isn't always easy. You have to be flexible things are going to change. Yes. And just as you said, if you really want to do it, you will, and you are. Exactly. So that, that is a great bit of, of uh, information to pass on and share with people. Yeah. I, I think social media is a tough one where you're just like, there's so many things you have to like really love being on it. It's not something I definitely have that either, but I use my Instagram to be real to just like, hey, this is what I, just a, something I'm going through, whether film related or not, just life basically. Yeah. And I just try to encourage. And I've had people say that really, it really encourages me. And that makes me think I need to keep doing that. Well, I think this will help a lot of people to see the show and to understand that because um, I always say that I am inspired by other people and I like to inspire other people. And I think that's why we're all here. And you're also very active and you do biking. You had done, so, what was that you did that was 200 miles in one day? That little uh, literally blew my brain. <laughs> I've only done one of those. I have friends who do those multiple times during the year. I, I, I don't. Are they still living? <laughs> they are. Yeah, so that, that gives me a lot of peace. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that because my platform is that we're never too old to get fit, to get healthy. It's very important and whatever we want to do to have that energy and yeah. eating right and exercising and doing things and meditating and knowing when to be quiet is all part of the package. What is the best way for people to reach out to you? Say they want to talk to you or, or uh, find out more about it. How do you like to be contacted? You can just email me. I do get a couple hundred emails. Reach me that way. That would be the best. Yeah. Best. Okay. That's good to know. I'll put that up there for them because that that is... Uh, right way and you're also a wonderful actress oh thank you i very mean i really was watching it and i and, and i have to say this you're very beautiful oh i mean you're just a very beautiful young woman and your talent so you've got everything going for you and i just know this is going to be successful with anything or anyone else it's your journey and and you are going to benefit from that when the purpose is outside of yourself for a very good reason and a lot of healing will happen so that person has to be ready to like, okay, I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to learn from this and, and put a lot of my energy and love into it. So I say, just keep moving forward, um, have the good purpose for it and, um, and just trust. Well, thank that is brilliant. It's a perfect way to end the show. That's amazing advice. And so crucial. You've got everything in your favor. And I just look forward to stay healthy and keep going. And thank you again so much, Erica. And everybody, we have information here. You're welcome to go to Erica's site and make a donation if you'd like, be a part of something bigger than yourself. And this is designed to help everyone. And we love you. And thank you again, Erica. Thank Peace you. And joy. Thank you for doing this show, for being thank so you. wonderful to work with. You are, are also very beautiful. And thank I appreciate you. you. So thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, everybody, we're going to go. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> Bye, Erica. Thanks again. Bye.